We have a short and sweet episode for this week's Threatwire. AI security is a trending topic, mostly discussions around how to prevent AI from becoming a bad actor in the future. But we can't also forget the actual cybersecurity of the companies building the AI. OpenAI launched their macOS application of ChatGPT around two months ago. The macOS application enables the native integration of ChatGPT, including hotkey-enabled access, screenshot analysis, and more. AI operating system integration sounds kind of familiar, kind of like Microsoft Recall. It turns out that until around last week, history was repeating itself. All the conversations with ChatGPT through the macOS application were being stored in plain text. This wouldn't be as bad as it seems, but the developers of the macOS integration bypassed the Mac sandboxing features and stores the conversations in non-protected locations. Many of the main concerns of recall can be reflected into this situation. Bad actors getting access to logs, malware reading into conversations, private data leaking. While no formal bug report was made, OpenAI released an update that encrypts the conversations. After The Verge contacted OpenAI about the issue, the company released an update that it says encrypts the chats. We are aware of this issue and have shipped a new version of the application which encrypts these chats, OpenAI spokesperson Tanya Christensen says in a statement to The Verge. We're committed to providing a helpful user experience while maintaining our high security standards as our technology evolves. As a reminder for ChatGPT users, you have to opt out of having ChatGPT review the conversations for training itself. And please don't put any company secrets, personal secrets, or PII into ChatGPT. Shiny Hunters, the same group that was behind the Snowflake slash Ticketmaster hack, is at it again, claiming to have over 33 million users' phone numbers from Twilio. What is critical here is that Shiny Hunters was able to figure out which phone numbers utilized Authy, Twilio's MFA offering. Twilio published a security alert disclosing how the actors were able to get access to this data. Twilio has detected that threat actors were able to identify data associated with Authy accounts, including phone numbers, due to an unauthenticated endpoint. We have taken action to secure this endpoint and no longer allow unauthenticated requests. While they have seen no evidence that other systems were accessed, they have published updates to their iOS and Android applications to patch these issues. Twilio formally offered Authy as a desktop application, however, they sunset it in March. Thank you for watching ThreatWire for the week of July 8th, 2024. As you can see, we're still working on the mic issue. A lot of people really enjoyed this mic and I really appreciate your feedback on it. As I was going through potential stories this week, one of my viewers on Twitch told me about the phrase cucumber time, a time when the news is slow so reporters cover stories about the price of cucumbers or other menial stories. We're all outside enjoying the sun and sometimes we need a break and just a week of cucumber news. If you want to support this ad-free show, please head over to patreon.com slash threatwire. Thank you so much for your support. If you want to find me online everywhere, you can find me at Ending with Allie. Good luck, have fun, and don't get caught.